Come on, let's go. Move up and down, up and down. Good, good. Stand your face every day like this! Let's go! You gotta punch hard! On your mark, get set. Sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. I know this was a difficult night for you because in a month you have definitely become a family. But luckily again, this coming week, you will be able to work together again as a family. But more on that in a moment. First, I need to bring in the others. As you can see, Laramie went home. But that doesn't mean that Q is on his own this week. Because this week, all of Brett and Kara's players will be wearing red. Bob and Jillian's players have a difficult decision to make. Do you want to wear blue or do you want to wear black? Black. 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 You are officially the black team. It's red versus black, and I'm excited that guess what? We finally get to go head to head, and it's war, and it's time to really start pushing now. I, I love that we're black. Mm. You know, black is, we show what I'm made of, you know? Johnny Cash style, like we say it in Tennessee. But it feels good, it feels strong. They chose black, and we'll give them the blue to go with it. It's a black and blue team over there. <laughs> You are going head to head, black versus red. And it starts right now with tonight's temptation. We might not be as physically strong as, as some of the people on their team, but we've beat this team once before and we could do it again. So bring it on, that's what I say. Hey guys, oh. come on out. Oh, oh, <laughs> we walk into the Temptation Challenge, and essentially it looks like a mafia prom. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Literally, Valentine's like just exploded in that room. Wow. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so, so mean. Wild. More wasted food, but I knew with all that chocolate in there, it was gonna be bad. Oh my gosh. Are you hungry? Mm. I'm definitely a chocolate fan. Uh, quite a few of my pounds that I put on probably do to chocolate, so it's uh, it's something that that lures me in. You could say I am hungry now. Tonight, we are going to find out which you value more: the power of love or the love of power. The winner of tonight's temptation will have the option to trade two players on your own team for two players on the other team. You know, somebody with that power, they could do anything. They could take two of our big guys. So the power is huge. They will change teams, change shirts, change trainers, and they could change the outcome of this entire game. Here's how it works. I will give each of you three minutes alone out here. Whoever eats the most chocolates will have the choice. They can keep the teams just as they are, or they can swap out two players on your team for two players on the opposing team. I do not want things to change. We are a family and we are strong as a family. And I cannot imagine two of, of my family members going to the other side. One thing that's fun about Valentine's Day is a chance to keep secrets. The winner of today's temptation will be kept a secret. So no one will know if you ate, if you didn't, they'll just know the verdict. <laughs> 
you can change the entire flow of the game and nobody involved in the game is going to know anything. That's huge. So if you're all ready, you all understand. We'll get started. Ready? I like how the teams are. If someone eats and switches that up, there's going to be a lot of drama here tonight. A lot of drama. So I'm just hoping that doesn't happen, but you never know. Long before I came here, I decided that I did not want to participate in Temptations. <laughs> What's hard is actually being in this situation, knowing that somebody else could decide to switch up the teams and somebody else could screw this up for me. So now I'm kind of second guessing, should I partake in this Temptation? <sighs> I don't want to eat the chocolate, and I don't want my mom to either. We didn't come here to eat chocolate. I mean, seriously, chocolate got us here. But I'm not going to lie, like, I wanted to smell them all. If they would have let me lick them, I would have done it. The second I walk into the courtyard, I get hit with this, this wall of chocolate stink. I essentially wanted to test myself, and there was absolutely no temptation there. Valentine's week is my least favorite week of the entire year. And usually for Valentine's Day, this is going to sound really pathetic, but I'm like at home, my dad calls me, he's like, oh, Hannah, you're my Valentine. And I'm always just like, oh my God, this is so pathetic. So usually I, got, I just got to bed early, you know, get a good start on the next day. February 15th, I love, but February 14th. Hate Valentine's Day. Worst day of the entire year. I go in and I'm initially I'm thinking I'm like, do I really want to go ahead and eat? Do I? How do I really? How do I want to play this out? And I go ahead and I walk around one time and I'm like looking at the at the pieces of candy and I'm trying to figure out what are the smaller pieces. And I grab the first one and it's delicious. And instantly I'm like, wow, like I haven't had chocolate or candy in so long. Like I think I'm gonna go a little further. Then I grab. Uh, an, an almond covered piece of toffee and it was just amazing and I'm like I should have went on ahead and just started eating when I came out here because this chocolate is delicious my view towards temptations is if it helps you and ultimately gets you to your long-term goal you know it's okay to be a little decadent it's okay to enjoy yourself a little bit I absolutely enjoyed every second of that three minutes. I knew exactly what I was going to do it's for Arthur. I was going to eat one piece of candy for each of my teammates and two for myself, just because I wanted to have that extra piece of candy. So every piece of candy had a name on it. Jay. There's nothing more than I want than our team to stay together. Can't forget Courtney. I've seen people win temptations by eating a mere one or two pieces of something. So I'm going to eat 10 because I want to have insurance that I'm going to win two for me. <laughs> the moment I walk into that circle, I start grabbing chocolate. My whole strategy is I want to keep my family together, so I'm going to eat it as fast as I can. After eating 21 pieces, I think that's good enough. But deep down inside, because I knew I could have eaten a lot more, I just felt I kind of let my team down. I know 
I got three minutes, so I come running. And I had already made up my mind that I was gonna play this as soon as I heard what it was for. I don't like other people determining my fate. So I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to make sure I have this power. I've watched a lot of food eating competitions and you know I was trying to use some of their techniques. I've watched them bounce up and down and, and, and you know, hold your throat up. I knew no matter how silly I may look that this was an important power that I really wanted. We tend to forget that this is a game and you have to start playing it sometime. I have no idea how many I ate, but I knew I ate a lot and I knew it was gonna be tough to beat me. Mm. Welcome back, everyone. I guess we should cut right to it. Several people ate, and we have a winner. But as you know, that winner had a choice. They could keep their team as is, or they could swap two players on their team for two players on the opposing team. I spoke with the winner and heard their decision. I'm sorry to tell you that you will have to say goodbye to two members of your team because there will be a swap. I am livid. I am so mad at the red team because I'm looking at people trying to figure out who it is. I look at Rulon, he has this like smirk on his face. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, why, why would he ever, ever do this? You know, they talk about family, you know, we stick together no matter what and all this. And I'm just thinking to myself, what a load of crap. So I'm going to ask Jen and Jay. Oh, what? From the black team to switch places. That's their strongest team. And as I thought about it, I looked over at Allison and she looked me in the eye and my heart sunk and I thought, you're out of here. With Sarah and Daddy. Oh my gosh, you know, this was my worst nightmare. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. The decision is final. We still family. And as I said, it is anonymous. Obviously, somebody from the red team set this thing up because they were taking Jennifer and I, who are the two strongest people in the weight loss from our entire group, bringing them over to a team that's very strong already, and then was shifting the two weakest people from the red team over to the black team. We have no freaking clue who did it. And you want to wring somebody's neck? Like, what, what are you doing this for? I should have done it myself. Jen? Jay, here are your red shirts. Go on over, join the red team. Sarah, Denny, sit <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe that I am not with my team. Here you are. That somebody would come in and, and break up our family for a stupid game. Like, I just, I'm mad. I'm mad and I'm hurt. This game has completely been flipped upside down and I was not expecting it. Sarah, Denny, you are new members of the black team. Jen, Jay, you are officially members of the red team. This color right here, is I just got screwed red. Anybody that knows me from home knows that I love wearing black. Black is slimming, you look good in black. Um, I just don't wanna be wearing red. I wanna be with my black team, and so does my dad. These are your teams. Good luck. I'd like to say something if I could.
These are your teams. Good luck. I'd like to say something. I don't want there to be any animosity in the house. So I'm, I'm a man of my word and I want to give everybody why I did it. So there is no thinking who did what. There's certain people here on my team that I've been loyal to and I will be to the very end. And we were very, very vulnerable if we lost the next couple weeks and it's a good chance Marcy and my dad would go home. I don't trust Jay and Jen. I haven't trusted them since week one. And I wanted to send a message that uh, you're not gonna get me in the back. And the first opportunity I have to get them out of this game, I'm gonna do it. Bottom line, I'm gonna do it. It's, this is game on, it's time to play this game. I had to do what was best for my team to keep my people that I want here. I am so livid right now. I am just so livid that he would do something like this. And not only did he take our strongest team away, he gave us the weakest team from the other side. I'm so mad at him. I cannot believe that he would do something like this to Jay and Jen and to our entire team. He put us all in a horrible position. So I'll take responsibility for it. Why would you do that? I didn't think anybody would ever step up and say who this is going to be. And guess what? Arthur stands up and says, it was me. And I, I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, seriously, what, what are you thinking? Where's your mind? What's your logic? This will keep all, all seven black members here, at least for two more weeks. So what you're saying is that we'll be the first ones you vote off. Karma's a bitch. That's what you just said. Yeah. Did you really just pick them to just make them the target to yeah. get out the way in, in, cl in case y'all do fall below? I mean, in, in case That's they That's what did. I just said. This opportunity came up. I had to protect myself. You hold on, and I'm going to say something, because this is a game. This is a game that's only going to last so long. And you come here on this show, on this ranch, to have an opportunity to change your life. Mm -hmm. But your game playing switch is on. We've been here a long time. It hasn't gone off, Arthur. It's and I don't know if that's ever going to go, go off. And you can see that in your actions. And you can see it in your habits. You can see it in your food. And you can see it in your exercise. And it shows on the scale. So that's all I have to say about that. So you can play the game all you want. But... You know what? If that's so if the that's the case, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys continue this conversation another time. It sounds like you all have a lot to talk about. This decision is final, Sarah Denny. You are part of the black team, Jen Jay. You are the red team now. Good luck, you guys, Sarah Denny. You guys are part of our team. Yeah. The end. You're welcome. We work as a team. You are part of our team, Arthur. If Sarah or Danny go home this week, you should be ashamed of yourself because you decided you needed more power and more control that was never yours. Just remember that. We're all walking on the treadmills and I know that Bob and Jillian are gonna walk in here and see our new team that Arthur has made and I'm really nervous about what they're gonna have to say to him. Oh no. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Make it colder in here. What happened? We need to have a serious chat. Yeah, we really do. What happened? Well, we had our temptation challenge last night. There's... Wait, do you guys want to stop? Let's all come, like, this way. I'm, this is going to sound amazing. I don't even know the pink team's name. I know it's Denny. Sarah. And Sarah. So let's just start. Who's Denny? Me. Who's Denny? Hi, Denny. Hi, Hi Denny. Bob. Let's start out by saying we're just surprised. Yeah, this is, <laughs> okay, this is surprised. Okay, we're just surprised. So I'm sorry, I just was just surprised. 
Sarah. Sarah. Hey. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah. Ah! What? Yes. Yes. Wait We're a back. second. I'm so sorry. Wait, is anyone missing? Redemption, baby. We're is the ping team? Lay it on us. So we got we had to switch a room. What we had to switch a room. Big seven. surprise. No, so, so no, the, we want you guys. We just. No, I know. I, we understand. Yeah. We understand. No, no, what's hard the feeling. surprise? So we had our temptation challenge last night, and basically, um, you can eat as many candies as you can, and the person who eats the most in three minutes in three minutes would be able to cast two from each side to switch. Yeah teams or leave things the way they were or, or leave, leave it exactly the way it was exactly the way so obviously God. they won yeah. you would wow. think that huh we wanted to keep our team together and they wanted to keep their team together all but one play. person arthur and i ate i was I mean, eating you eat. to keep our 35 35 so he won and you did this why did you do this since day one i haven't trusted him and there's no love loss between me and the green team okay I knew that my dad would be the next person off our team if we were to lose to go home. And... So he thought that we would be the sacrificial lambs. He'd bring us over, and then he'd keep his group together. And... But honey, here's the thing. I think that what you've actually created now is the very thing that you were afraid of. Because they seem real mad. And now... Am I right that you're the first oh to go? Gosh. We wanted to protect Arthur from the beginning, but then he goes and does something like this, and no one on the black team is very happy with Arthur at this point. He really does have a big target on his back. It's, it sucks, but that's just the truth. Now you just put such an X on your back, Arthur. Now, in fearing that situation and not trusting in your ability and trusting in us, now you're in a situation that was the thing you feared the most, because now... I now you've strong-armed all of us to either make a really bad moral or ethical decision or send you or your dad home. So we all lose. It's no win. It's like your arm, both arms are just like completely tied behind your back. And I don't like being put, I don't like my voice or my choice being taken away. And I feel like that's what's happened in all of this. I, I was up all night long. Not I don't know what, Arthur, I mean, you knew the plan. You knew the plan that we had for you. And now everything that we had set up for you in one fell swoop, God. you destroyed. Look, I think you were, you were feeling afraid, right? You're trying to protect you and your dad. And I didn't trust Jay and Jen. You know, there was but why would you make their team stronger? That's the question. And they are, Jay and Jen are pissed. Yeah, of course so they are. I'm just thinking, like, I mean, why would you, like, why know, would you I make their team stronger? Justin and Rulon, I know. Good intentions, poor yeah. discernment. I just... Honey. Oh, God. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Let me hug. Come on. I want a better one. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. I thought I was saving everybody. I know. I know. <laughs> like, what? All right. Land? Okay. Coming up, Climb that ball. Climb it. Climb it. 18 contestants, four trainers, one gym. I mean, seriously, we have to share. I can't hear you. Yes, go, go, come on, Kate. Good, go to 45. You guys all on 10 inclines. Beautiful form. Arthur, excellent. Just so good. It goes without saying, you're going to do the exact same speed that you did. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, focus forward, five, four, chest up. Let's go, two minutes, of show time. We've had this gym to ourselves for the first four weeks, and now this is the first time that the red team's gonna come in this gym and we're gonna have to train with them. I know how loud Bob and Jillian can be, so I can't even imagine how loud and crazy this gym is gonna get. Reach the arms up, and now squat. We are excited to be in the gym training with Bob and Jillian. Even though we're not working with him directly, you still want to feel that energy. Good, yes! We want to see the magic that Bob and Jillian give the other team that makes them who they are. Yeah, get some of that. 13, 14. We're the unknowns. Do we want to come in and show what we're made of? Of course. Ha! So Karen and I set the tone. We don't just use a stopwatch. 
We don't just correct form. We walk our talk, we lead by example, and we train hard and set the bar for our contestants. Ha! Brett and Kara are here to prove something. Ha! Prove that they are just as good as Bob and Jillian. And I can attest to it that they are. Oh, this is great. They're not burning any calories watching Brett and Kara. I, I love this workout. I mean, this is fantastic. <laughs> They're terrified of me because they know no one messes with me. Show me something, yellow team. I love a Brett and Kara workout. They're the big boys. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> show me something. Get one more. Two. One time. I like to go in there and get my heart racing, get my testosterone pumping. Nine, how many? Eight, Eight. how many? Seven, Seven. How, many? Six. Six. how many? Five, how many? Four, Four. how many? Three, Three. how many? Two. Two. One. One. Time show. Did you see the black team, as usual, they're on their treadmills. They're gonna be on their treadmills from sun up to sundown. Go time! I still feel sorry for the black team. I feel sorry for the fact that they're so closed-minded that they can't come over and say, hey, what you guys are learning is revolutionary. Let's go, let's go, oh, baby. Four, three, two, mercy. Brett and Kara have pushed me to do things that I've never thought I could do. I, I love boxing. Ah! I've just been pushing myself to different things and I'm seeing myself in different lights and I think that's what's made all the difference is taking me out of what I've been comfortable with and seeing what else I can do. Good shot. Yeah. Yeah. The red team's nowhere near the physical condition we are. Yeah, they may be able to punch real hard. They may be able to wrestle real good. But let me tell you something. Those things will not win you this game. Slam it! Sarah, slam that ball! Let's go! Go! Come on, man! Ha! 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 Turn those hips! Come on! Come on, baby! Come on! Ha! Ha! Turn those hips! Come on! Come on, baby! Straight. I mean, seriously, we have to share. I can't even hear what you're saying. Concentrate. Olivia, honey. So disrespectful. My inner fuse is getting shorter and shorter and shorter because this is the most disrespectful thing I've seen since I've been at the ranch. Five, four, three, two. There's no reason we can't share the gym. Let's go. But I can't even hear my trainer. Squeeze, squeeze. 11, 10, 29, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, I guarantee you, we are intimidating the black team. Shut up. I just want to be like, shut up. Let us just work out in peace. You have two new trainers that are searching for their space in this house, but at the same time, now it's something you have to deal with. And you're going to need to learn to come in the gym when they're in here and share the space responsibly. Right. You own your own space. You know, when you're inside your skin, that's your space. No one can push you out of that space, no matter where your skin is standing. I don't want to go into this, like, this screaming match. What you really need to do is clear your head. That's why if you focus on your breathing, it gives that real active mind something to do. All right, kiddo, I'm going to take Arthur for a few minutes. Arthur made a big mistake this week. Losing Jay and Jen, you know, really emotionally hurt all of us. And he, if he wants to prove something back to us and not make excuses about what he did, he better prove it on the scale. Ah! Yes, one more like that. One more. Ah! Perfect. Come on. Ah! Last one. Ah! 
Come on, two more. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Hips, hips, hips. Let's go, drive. The red team has welcomed us, and their attitude is, if you can play with us, you can stay with us. Come on, Jen! You know, you're in. So the motivation is definitely there for us to, to work just as hard, if not harder. Because at the end of the day, you know, we want to be here as long as possible. Drive, 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 get down, get lower. Two, one. Oh, I love that. Let's go, let's go. Harder! Keep going! Kara definitely was giving me some tough love and wanted to make sure that I would be initiated into the group. Stay focused. They want to know that I'm strong enough to hang with them. Hard! Go! <laughs> yes! yes! Hard! Come on! Yes, right here! Go! Go! Come on! Five! Time! 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 Go! Get a little bit of a bigger arm. Switch it! Jay, let's go! I think Jay and Jen are doing a great job. Switch! In out! In out! In out! In out! I think they look strong, they look confident, they're learning. Ha, ha, let's go, Jay! Punch me! You throw two contestants in the middle of a workout that they don't quite understand. You want to see if they're willing to give, and then they are. Straight ahead, don't worry about it. Feel your feet reach. We're strong, and we want them to be even stronger with us. Go! Go! Come on, Jay! Yes. One! Good job, Jay. Thank you. I want you to cross, reach that other arm back behind you. Press over and lift. Let's go. Push. The workout gets harder and harder and harder, and he's killing us. And poor Diddy and Sarah, this is their first workout with Bob. They're probably like, what, what is happening? Don't let your heart rate come down. Bob's workout is really hard. It's go and go and go and go, and I think, am I going to make it through? Am I going to drop? It's probably the hardest workout I've had yet. Push. Good. Good. I have a lot to prove. I have got to pull my weight Press. and put a big number up on the scale, basically to make my place here in this team, you know, and to and to keep me safe. Ah. Oh. oh my God! Go. Ah. So I'm going to give it everything I've got, you know, even if I end up on the floor because I literally can't move anymore. I'm going to do it. One more. Go. Ah. There it is. This is black versus red. We're going head to head weigh in and we want to win. So we gave 100% and we laid it all out. So it was an awesome workout. One, two, three, baby green! green. Yeah. Woo! Good job, guys. Good job. All righty. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is our first challenge, being red and black. And everyone's looking at us like we're weaklings because we're not as big, we're not as strong. But that's not necessarily true. So you better watch out. I know with Valentine's Day approaching, your thoughts are with your loved ones. That's why for today's challenge, everyone on the winning team will get videos from home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Videos from home are so important. My daughter got married the first week we were here, and we'd made the commitment to be here, and she understood that, but it was still really, really hard. I want to see her wedding. I want to see that day. And so this is one of the most important challenges we've ever had. We've just got to win. Today's challenge is broken up into five sections that will test different skills. Endurance, speed, agility, strength, and knowledge. Each time someone finishes a section, you will receive a present. Once all five sections of this challenge are complete, you will all go to the finish line, unwrap your presents, and inside will be one final task for you to complete. So I'm gonna ask you to decide who is going to represent which skill. Me and Moses will do strength. Agility. What is agility? That's it, black team, time's up. For endurance. We're going to find out how long you can endure taking direction from your teammate. Oh. <laughs> One of you will push a rock up a hill while wearing a blindfold. And you will rely entirely on the direction of your teammate. We thought that we had the perfect plan. We had everybody in our team in, in their greatest strength. All of a sudden, there's this big twist. We totally got tricked. The second section, speed. We want to know. 
how fast you can stack a bunch of bricks. <laughs> Each team has a pile of bricks. Your job is to stack them till you reach a line six feet in the air. Section three, agility. We are going to find out how agile you are mentally. The two of you will put five dishes in order from lowest to highest number of calories. <laughs> Section four, strength. We will find out how strong your sense of balance is. <laughs> hey, that's, that's all right. Each team member will grab hold of a log. Together, you will walk across a telephone pole. If you fall off, you have to go back and start again. We got this, baby. I don't know about Arthur with this one. I mean, his, his, his center of gravity doesn't look to be the best. I know he won't beat us when it comes to that point. The fifth challenge is knowledge. And we're going to find out how well you know your way to the heart. Uh-oh. <laughs> you will shoot an arrow and hit the heart-shaped target. Once you hit your target, the entire team needs to complete the final task. The first team to finish that task wins videos from home. Follow me. Up first in endurance, Courtney and Olivia versus Kaylee and Jen. On your mark, get set, go! And right off the bat, they crash into each other. Perfect. The black team making a lot of progress. Push. No, 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 push it to the right, push it to the left, 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 left. I saw Kaylee starting to push the boulder into a cliff right on our right-hand side. The red team almost over the edge. I could easily just go over, so I, I really have to trust Jen. Courtney's almost there, black team. One good push. Come on, Kaylee. Done, done. That's it, move on, black team. Tag him out, come on. Keep pushing, straight, straight. Straight. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go! Marcy and Irene have to stack bricks six feet tall. Here comes Austin and Rulon. They gotta stack those bricks. Looks like Irene and Marcy have a very specific plan. Rulon and Austin with the plan. They're on their way. This is neck and neck. Irene and I realized right from the beginning we have one shot. We knew if it fell that we might not have a chance to beat Austin and Rulon. Black team is getting close. I see it sort of doing this, and I'm like, oh no, no, no! I yeah. start freaking out. No, it's falling. It's falling forward. What the hell? Here, here take it off. Put take these off. Put that down. Put that flat. Got to get to six feet, and it has to stand on its own for five seconds. Go. Can it stay? Let go. Let go. All right, that's it. That's the winning brick, Marcy. Five seconds. That's it, you're on. Move on, tag yeah. out your teammates. Woo. Come on, girls. Come on, Rune and Austin, come on. Red team, you gotta let it stand for five seconds. We were behind by at least 30 seconds. Three, four, five, red team, good job. We made up about 10 seconds and we're right back in this. Go, 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 go. Red team come right on. behind the black team. Come on, come on, come on. We have to take five dishes and pair them up with the five different calories. There's chicken, hot dog, s'mores, a bowl of chili, and a cheeseburger with chips. I haven't even thought about how many calories are in that. I haven't even looked at a cheeseburger in six weeks. Oh, I have no idea. Come on, come on, come on. Let's try this. Think about the calories, man. Think about it. Think hard. Try that. Uh, well, keep trying. Keep trying. Guys. The beans is high. Uh, look at all that chocolate in there, though. Okay, let's try it. I don't think chili's that hot. Okay, then get it down. Try that. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Come I'm definitely getting angry at this point. I'm just watching the black team go from one station to the next, and they're, they're passing us up. Why the hell is it taking you guys so long to, to switch these plates? Taste them if you got to. Come on, man. It is time for strength. Yeah, come on, How yeah. strong is Jesse and Arthur's sense of balance? He's very slow. The pressure on, on Arthur and I is tremendous. We can't blow this. If for some reason I don't come through on this challenge, I'm going to have to sleep with one eye open. Whoa, Arthur. Arthur, watch where Jesse is. Okay, move, move this up. Come on. Move this up. 
Arthur and Jesse, halfway through the first telephone pole. Come on, fellas, let's go, baby. Burger's got to be the highest one. Yeah, I got to move fast. Oh, oh. Arthur, watch where Jesse is. Be careful. Arthur's a big guy, and he has to walk across a telephone pole. This could be a long obstacle. In fact, this could give the red team the opportunity to catch up. Don't, Don't even try to step. Get your footing. Be Wait, careful. Go slow, Arthur. Jesse and Arthur, start again. This week on The Biggest Loser, love is in the air. The love of power, that is. Trade two players for two players on the other team. One man's sweet tooth and the decision to swap players surprises everyone on both teams. Jen and Jay switch places with Sarah and Dan. Coming up, it's red versus black at the weigh-in. Will Arthur's choice pay off or send him home packing? Come on, you guys. Keep your footing. Be Wait, careful. Whoa, Arthur. Jesse and Arthur, start again. Arthur loses his footing and he falls. If Arthur loses his footing a second time, we're in big trouble because these guys can come from behind. There's no doubt in my mind that they can come from behind. I've seen him do it. Speed up! Get some speed! Let's try this. We still have a shot. If we could just figure out which one is the lowest, which one's the highest, we can still get it. Let's try it. Uh, ah! Yes, just wait. wait. Get to the end and wait. When we hit the middle the second time, I knew that I wasn't allowed to put my foot on the hay bale. It had to go directly from log to log. But, you know, I ain't got the longest legs, you know. My nickname is Stumpy. So I got to step one over and we got a little shaky and I, I lost my balance. Woo! Just a little bit. Yep. Hold, Hold on. on. Come on. Stay. Take your just time. Slow and time. steady. Arthur, steady. Yeah, amazing. Focus. Hold on, Arthur. Slow, slow, slow. Yes. Slow down, guys. Slow down. Okay, Catch slow. your balance. Red team still struggling. I'm looking at this burger and I'm thinking, is this 30% fat? Is it 10% fat? Is it ground round? Is it buffalo? What is this burger, you know? And all of a sudden, I'm just like lost. Just move them around, man. Mix them up. Dude, it's not that simple. Father and son at the end of their balancing act. I'm definitely nervous about Arthur. His legs were shaking. It was not just the physical part, it was more mental. Just a little bit. Yep. Hold, Hold on. on. Come on, stay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Black team is done with the fourth leg. Woo! Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Try that one. Y'all gotta move fast. Mix them up, baby. Come on. I don't have any idea. Here comes Hannah, ready to test her knowledge. I've shot tons of guns at a target. I've never picked up a bow and arrow before in my life. I'm not a bow hunter. Here we go. Okay. There was probably about 25 arrows. I was like, well, I might need 30. All Hannah has to do is land one arrow in that heart-shaped target, and the black team can move on to the final task. And she does it! Get your breathing! Up these stairs! Oh my god, I hit on first try. We run up to the top and we see it's another large heart. And we start un unwrapping all of our presents. It's a puzzle piece! Start putting them together, people! And the red team was nowhere to be found. I'm thinking to myself, what happened? Put the hamburger up on the top, put the hot dog second, put the chicken third, put the baked beans fourth, and put the chocolate on the bottom. Pick that right. up. That doesn't go. That doesn't go there. Wait, who's got straight pieces? We need straight pieces. This puzzle is pandemonium. Like, it's sticking onto a magnetic board and we can't move them very well. And we're so close, you know, we just have to get this to fit together. One more piece. Yes, one more piece. One more piece. Wait, oh, yeah. Arthur has it. Look out. Here it goes. Hurry. Here we Let's go. Let's see if you did it. That is. Oh my gosh, I feel amazing. Like, I, my skin is barely even holding me inside. I mean, it's, it's unreal. We got our videos from home, and we're a strong team, and we've, we've proved that today. One, two, three. Black! Now we've gone head to head against the big boys. You know, you could see their cockiness, just the opposite of us. And they a little humble pie. Red team, what happened there? It's embarrassing. It, it really is, you know? I used to make fun of people that counted calories. Yeah. <laughs> they did win the first challenge, but you know what? We'll crush them in the next one when it counts. We'll win the win. That's that, that's what's most important, to send the people home. That was on that smack talk, right, get you. All right. Oh, you know we're going to crush you, Arthur. It's not going to be fair. <laughs> that's all right. Next time, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we still got the way in. 
All of us here at The Biggest Loser want to make sure that you have a healthy Valentine's Day. So here are three tips for you to remember. Number one, make sure to get a good workout in the morning that will have you burning fat all day long. Number two, if you're having a chocolate craving, go with dark chocolate instead and remember to share. And number three, the night of your dinner, remember, portion control. Make sure to split the meal with your significant other. So have a happy Valentine's Day from all of us here at The Biggest Loser. This is a newly formed red team. Everyone's jazzed. They've been hitting the workouts hard, but it's not just about the workouts. So this morning, I want to talk to them about nutrition. What would you eat for breakfast before you started Biggest Loser? I would just go out and be on the run and, and eat on the run. Fast food, a lot of calories. Yeah. What about you? Um, you know, very large coffee and, you know, maybe a pastry or two. Gotcha. And you start eating more and more and more. For breakfast, you can go through two or three pastries and you don't stay full. My breakfast habits were horrific. And uh, being here, I've had an opportunity to really, you know, think more about what I'm doing, realizing that I need to fuel my body because if I'm going to lose the weight and then maintain the weight, I got to have fuel in my system so I can be strong at the gym. Big G cereals guarantee at least eight grams of whole grains per serving. Any box with the check, the white check, if it's got the check, it's got the grains. I'm sold on the cereal. I mean, it definitely is a great choice and it's easy and it's fast. So finish up, fuel up here. All right, I'll see you soon. You might need another ball. <laughs> It's Valentine's Day, and our team won a prize in the challenge. They give videos from home. I think it's really special that these guys have a chance to reconnect with their family and feel loved, because Valentine's Day is really just all about feeling loved. This is so nice. Look at us all here. Really nice. So everyone, Jillian and I are so happy that you won the challenge. And for Valentine's Day, what better way to spend it but then to watch videos from home? OK, let's do this. Hey, Irene, it's Jason. Remember me? I <laughs> uh, hope you're doing well. And I love you. Yeah. Keep it working, Irene. And we know, just remember, when you're exercising, got to do one thing. Listen to merengue, just like this. Marcos. Yeah. Number one, Irene. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, Court. I miss you so much. I love you. I can't wait to see you. I already know how beautiful you are, but I can't wait for everyone else to see how beautiful you truly are. You're my role model and I'm so proud of you. It's so hard not being able to talk to you, but I know you're where you need to be and I love you. Mom, it's hard not being able to talk to my best friend, but I know you do anything for your kids and that's why you're there. So I love you and I'm proud of you. <laughs> And I can't wait to see you. This journey is a tough journey. You get a little bit homesick and you wonder, you know, should I still be here or should I not still be here? But I think my husband and my whole family would be proud to see me right now because I really look in the mirror and I see somebody different, but especially Courtney. Courtney looks so different. They're not going to recognize her. Hi, Arthur. I love you and I miss you so much. I'm just so proud of you and your drive and your strength to finally beat this so that when you come home we can continue to raise our beautiful children together with a much healthier you. Hi Daddy, hi Grandma, we miss you, we love you. We're very happy for you Daddy and Grandpa. How cute are they? Anytime my kids are involved, I break down. I become the biggest softie in the world. Almost every minute of my kid's life, I've been there every day just to see how big they're getting. Just in that, in that two months, I can't help but get emotional. I love you, Daddy. Oh, my baby. Hey, my precious O. I uh, oh my miss you gosh, so much. So I had to just say that I love you. My husband is so skinny. Oh, my God. Seriously, my husband has lost like 40 pounds. You are an encouragement to me in my own struggle with weight, and you are an encouragement to me just as my wife, and 
whenever I think of you, I just can't do anything but just smile and just uh, think about how much I love you. He is by far the absolute best man I know. <laughs> and um, I couldn't ask for a better life partner. We love you, Sarah. We love you. We miss you. I've got somebody with me. Charlie is here. Aww. Say hi, Sarah. Boy's a good boy. My husband is my world. He is truly the best person I've ever met in my whole life. He makes me want to be better and he inspires me. I know that he believes in me and that's hard when I haven't believed in myself. I love you so much and you go work out really hard. You're, you've got what it takes. I know that you're a winner and uh, we will see you soon, but not too soon. Okay, love you. Aww. It's been six weeks um, since my daughter got married. I'm just so excited to see her in her beautiful wedding dress with her incredible husband. Oh my God. It would have been amazing to be at my daughter's wedding, but it's been so worth it to be here. I have learned more about myself. I have gained so much more confidence and I'm gonna be able to take that home to her. That was unbelievable to see my daughter, you know, come through those doors with her new husband. I mean, I've been waiting for that for so long. <laughs> That's really hard though to miss the wedding. The hardest. But she said, Mom, it's more important for you to be where you are than to come because you're gonna bring this home for all of us. This is her wedding gift. It's a good one. It's a great Valentine's Day. It's the best. Coming up, will Arthur's decision pay off at the weigh-in? I'm worried. It's a good possibility I'm the one going home tonight. Or end in a Valentine's Day heartbreak. With it being Red and Black's first official team versus team weigh-in, this weigh-in is, is, is very important. We're going head-to-head -head with the red team. This time, it's no excuses. My team needs this weigh-in. I want my team to win. Welcome, everyone. Brett, Kara, this is your very first on-campus weigh-in. So welcome to both of you. You picked a good weigh-in to join us because this is the one we have been waiting for. Tonight, it is red versus black. Tonight, we'll see if Arthur's choice paid off for the black team. It is now time to face this weigh-in. The team with the highest percentage of weight loss will win tonight's weigh-in and be safe from elimination. The team with the lowest percentage of weight loss will face elimination and have to send one person home. The person on the losing team with the highest percentage of weight loss will have immunity and be safe from elimination this week. Red team, we are gonna have you start tonight's weigh-in. Jay, let's get you on that scale and see how you did. Let's do it. All right, All right we this weigh-in is really important for Jennifer and I because we were black, now we're red. Arthur's thrown us under the bus. Uh, I'd like to have a really good number to say, hey, look, you know, you really shouldn't have done that. You hurt our team, our black team, because Jennifer and I are pulling great numbers here. So it's pride and it's also survival. Jay, your previous weight was 331 pounds. Your current weight is... I got 17 more pounds, 18 more pounds to get below 300. That's incredible. Jay, since you first started The Biggest Loser, you have lost a total of 83 pounds. That feels really good. Thank you, Jay. Good job, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Up next, we're going to weigh in Jen. Right. Yeah. 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 
I'm anxious because now that we've been traded to the red team, it's pretty much our chance to prove ourselves and pull the numbers that we can so they keep us around. Jen. Jen, your previous weight was 232 pounds. Your current weight is. It feels really good. It feels really, really good. I have worked my ass off. Literally. <laughs> I'm just grateful for that number. Every week that I'm here, it's just that much closer that I'm going to get to my goal. And I'm bound and determined to do so here on the ranch. Sounds good. When they dropped those pounds, I could just think, Arthur, they needed to be on our team. If Arthur's going to give up two strong players, which he's the one that's responsible for it, then he needs to make up for the pounds that, that Jay and Jen lost. Up next, for the red team, we are going to weigh in. Austin. Yeah. Austin, your current weight is. My weight loss, kind of this this whole time, has been a little bit up and down, and so I'm I'm happy with ten. I'm 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 great with ten. Thank you very much. Thank you. There are six players left to weigh in. Ken, your previous weight was 321 pounds. Your current weight is. I haven't seen 307 since I had my first weight loss surgery, which was 1989. So I'm like, I'm so stoked. That's just awesome. Man, you look phenomenal up there. You're, I can see your shape coming out. You're, you got swagger. I mean, it's all there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Ken, in six weeks, you have lost 70 pounds. You lost 14 pounds, adding to the red team's total, making it 52 pounds so far for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.84%. Up next is Q. Come on, Q. Let's go, baby. You feel committed to the red team now that you're oh, here definitely. without your wife? And... My people right there. Yeah. <laughs> you're here. He's stepped up his game. He's impressed me on, on a number of occasions. And he's, he's aggravated me on other occasions, but for the most part, <laughs> he's impressed me. And this week, I think he's... I'm hoping he's going to have good numbers. The biggest pressure is on Q. He promised Laramie that he would give everything he had to be there. If he doesn't pull a big number, he let her reputation and he let the honor of her be passed away. Your previous weight was 385 pounds. Your current weight is... I don't get it, but I need to figure out something. My team can attest. I've been doing my thing in the gym. I've been watching my intake and everything. I don't know about just seven pounds. You know, Q, I think you got to be honest with yourself at this point and with the team. It's not just the hour, the two hours on the training floor. There's other hours of the day that you got to be monitoring what you're doing. Calories in, calories out. I've been watching what I've been what I've been putting in my body. I mean, I'm not gonna give up. I'm, I'm definitely not gonna give up. I, mean, I got my wife that's counting on me. You know, I feel bad because I made you tell Lermy that you weren't gonna do this, and you know, pretty much you didn't live up to your promise. I, I disagree with you there. I can't say that that I'm that I'm not I'm holding back on my promise because seven pounds after the week that I've had, I need help, and and, and that's 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 all it boils down to. Good luck, you. There are four people left to weigh in. Rulon is next. Rulon, your previous weight was 394 pounds. Your current weight is.
12 pounds is a good number, but I'm, I am disappointed. I had a good week. I trained hard. A little bit short. Ulan, in six weeks, you have lost a total of 92 pounds. Thank you, Ulan. Justin, your previous weight was 292 pounds. Your current weight is. Okay. Let's hope for a little more, but it's okay. You're crazy. I mean, you on an everyday basis, you're amazing, and I think you should be proud of yourself. Seriously. I was just hoping to have just a little bit more. So. I'm watching Ruin pull a 12, and Justin gets a 10, and they're not happy with it. These guys are the obvious leaders of the team. They set very high standards for themselves, but they've got to learn to celebrate the small things. The pounds are coming off. And that's what's important. Thank you. Kaylee, you're next. Kaylee, your previous weight was 195 pounds. Your current weight is. That's good. Five is good. I'll take it. I was hoping for a little bit more to help out my team, but five's good. Good luck, Haley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you lost five pounds, bringing the red team's total to 86 pounds so far for a total percentage of weight loss of 3.04%. Nice. nice job. <laughs> red team, you have one person left to weigh in. Okay, Moses, not only are you representing the red team tonight, but you are here to break a record. You've lost 11 pounds. You will have broken the Biggest Loser record, previously held by Michael and Rudy, who each lost 100 pounds in seven weigh-ins. You will set the new record for the fastest to 100 pounds on the Biggest Loser. Let's get you on that scale and see how you did, Moses. I'm Moses! I really want to break this record, which is held by Rudy and Michael. I want to make sure that my name is cemented in Biggest Loser history that every season as they try to attempt it, they'll keep hearing that this is the record that Moses holds. You just might as well take their names off of it and stamp Moses on that record. Moses, do you feel 100 pounds lighter than when you first started? Um, I feel lighter. I'm hoping at least 100 pounds. Hoping. Moses, your previous weight was 351 pounds. Your current weight is... Moses, if you have lost 11 pounds this week, you will have broken the Biggest Loser record for the fastest to 100 pounds on the Biggest Loser. Your current weight is. <laughs> what I've learned from my trainers has uh, changed my life. They helped me realize that I could hit limits I never thought I could. And uh, with their help and my team, all of them, I did it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Bravo. I've never seen my dad work this hard towards his weight loss, and it's amazing to see. My dad's so inspiring, and he inspires me every day, and it was just good to see him accomplish a goal that he set out for. Moses, in six weigh-ins, you have lost a total of 100 pounds. Yeah. 
Congratulations, you have set a new Biggest Loser record. You lost 11 pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 97 pounds, and a total percentage of weight loss of 3.43%. So black team, in order to win tonight's weigh-in, keep everyone on the black team safe from elimination, you need to have lost more than 77 pounds, which averages out to a little more than nine pounds a piece. Denny, Arthur could have picked anyone from the red team to join the black team. He picked you and Sarah. We're gonna bring you up first, see how you did. We flew 77 pounds. That's a huge undertaking for the size of our team. All right, Denny, your previous weight was 210 pounds. Your current weight is. That's a pretty good number. Yeah, I'm really happy with that number. Next week, I could be 190. <laughs> good for you, Denny. Thank you. Good job, Denny. Yeah. Remember, Black Team, you need to have lost more than 77 pounds in order to beat the Red Team. Sarah, you're up. Sarah. If Arthur really thinks that, you know, we're just going to come over here and be his little sacrificial lambs that he can just flick off, I honestly think he is in for the biggest surprise of his life. Sarah, your previous weight was 222 pounds. Your current weight is. I didn't know if I would get a double digit after the first week, and I just did. <laughs> you know, I've just got a, a chance to meet Sarah this past week, and uh, we've been having a really good time. We've been dancing around her injuries and uh, getting to know each other, so I'm very thankful that she's on our team. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. I think that the numbers that Sarah and Denny have pulled totally shows that they can do all the same things that we're doing, and they're just as part of this team as Jay and Jen or, or anyone. I'm probably not going to vote them off if they keep working as hard as they're working. Sarah, you lost 10 pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 19 pounds so far. You need to have lost more than 77 pounds. We have seven people left to weigh in. Arthur, you picked the players you thought would help your team. Now it's time to see how you help them. I, I'm worried, you know. I need a big number, or it's a good possibility I'm the one going home tonight. All right, well, let's see. What the scale says, Arthur, your previous weight was 444 pounds. Your current weight is. Don't cut. We needed uh, nine pounds of teammate. You did your part, Arthur. Just don't cut. I'm mad. I'm at it. Just, you know, I, I'm gonna ask for help from my trainers. I'm gonna maybe one day you can come in and look at everything I'm, 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 I'm eating. We're gonna get this all straightened out. There's nothing to worry about, Arthur. You're doing a great job. Yes, you are. Thank you, Arthur. This has been kind of an ongoing thing with Arthur. He should be pulling bigger numbers. He wants help. So we're going to have to sit down and try to help him. But eventually, we can only protect Arthur for so long. All right, Arthur. You lost nine pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 28 pounds so far. Remember, the black team needs to have lost more than 77 pounds in order to win this weigh-in. You have six players left to weigh in. Jesse, you're next. Jesse, your previous weight was 257 pounds. Your current weight is...
Feeling good about those 11 oh, yeah. pounds. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Thank you, Jesse. Good job, Jesse. Everybody started, you know, racking up great numbers. The further it went along, I'm like, oh man, this is just not looking good at all. I think this weigh-in is going to be close. It's closer than I would have hoped for. Jesse, you lost 11 pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 39 pounds so far. Remember, black team, the magic number is 77 pounds. You are well on your way. You have five women left to weigh in. Courtney, you're next. Your previous weight was 275 pounds. Your current weight is... Feel good to get see a double digit on the oh, show. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm proud of that 10. As long as it's going down, it's one step closer, and that's all that matters to me. Thank you, Courtney. You have a positive attitude, and that's what I love about you, Courtney. I absolutely love it about you. Thank you. Good for you, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney, since you started the biggest loser, you have lost 58 pounds. I'm proud of you. <laughs> The black team had great numbers on the scale. I am worried at this point because if they win this, I'm convinced that my dad and I are going home. Courtney, you lost 10 pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 49 pounds so far. You need to have lost more than 77 pounds for women left to weigh in. Up next, Marcy. Marcy, your previous weight was 200 pounds. Your current weight is... Forty-nine in July, and I told my husband that day, 50 before 50. And I didn't think I was going to hit 50 <laughs> this week. I thought it would be next week. I think I just lost 51 pounds. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you did. <laughs> Thank you, Marcy. Thank you. Marcy lost 13 pounds, adding to the black team's total, making it 62 pounds so far. Remember, black team, you need to have lost more than 77 pounds as a team. With three people left to weigh in, that means the three of you need to have lost more than 15 pounds. Olivia, you're up. There's three of us left to weigh in. We have to lose 15 pounds to win. I just thought to myself, I, I already feel like maybe I've only lost a couple of pounds and I have to lose five. Olivia, your previous weight was 224 pounds. Your current weight is... Black team, Olivia. Yes! It's amazing. <laughs> I've been stuck at 220 so many times, and I told myself I wasn't going to disappoint myself. And, um, and I did it. I love you, and I'm so proud of you. And I love you, too. Thanks, Olivia. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> You lost 16 pounds. Yes! <laughs> Adding to the black team's total, making it 78 pounds. And a total percentage of weight loss of 3.45%. And there you have it, black team. Congratulations, you have won tonight's weigh-in. Irene, Hannah, of course we want to find out how you both did. We've won. We beat the red team. We don't have to send anyone home this week. And I'm just, I'm so proud of Olivia and I'm so proud of our entire team. Yeah. I mean, I know you think we're a bunch of girls and we, we're just not very strong. We're just not very smart. And oh my gosh, the big boys are going to beat us. But she didn't. The girls whooped up on you this week.
whooped you. We whooped up on you. This week, not only did we crush them percentage-wise, but we beat them pound-wise. Red Team now faces a very difficult decision. You will be facing elimination tonight. You will have to vote to send one member of the Red Team home. There is one player you cannot vote for. The person with the highest percentage of weight loss on the Red Team has immunity. And tonight, that person is Jen. <laughs> this week, your total percentage of weight loss was 6.07%. You're incredible. You are incredible. <laughs> Red team, you have a tough decision ahead. I will meet you in the elimination room. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The biggest loser club is changing lives. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. So we lost. Uh, my worst nightmare comes to be we're going to go into elimination on the red team and I'm going to be on the chopping block. So, I mean, I'd love to stay, but I mean, at least Jennifer's safe. I mean, I'm not giving up, but I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to stay. The numbers don't lie. Jay and Jen have been busting their behinds. And, and their numbers show it. At this point, I'm not sure if my team is going to value loyalty or the numbers in the long run. It has me on edge right now because I don't know how this is going to go. Well, I'm pretty sure none of you expected to be here tonight. Having to face a very difficult decision. You're going to go around the room and reveal your vote. The person with the most votes will be eliminated. Jen, we're going to start with you. My number one goal is always get the highest number on the scale, and that's what I live by, and it will never change. I'm all about performance, so that is why this week I voted for Q. It's one vote for you, Q. If you receive four more votes, you'll be eliminated. Jay. Um, regrettably, the person that I chose is Q. I'm sorry, Q. But you're right. a hell of a man. It's all right. Q, that's two votes. What did you decide to do tonight? I couldn't, you know, wrong the people that have helped me out in this journey so far. Um, I voted for Jay. Okay, Jay, that's one vote. Q, you have two votes. Ken. I respect you. I believe in you. And I hope, I hope and I pray that you will be able to do this. And that's why I voted for Q. Q, that's three votes. If you receive two more, you will be eliminated. Moses. I appreciate you for being the man that he is but tonight I appreciate the effort of Jay and to me that that that's what I look at all the time um, my vote is to send Q home Q you have four votes if you receive one more vote you will be eliminated Justin Q and I shared a lot of words together. I love him just like he was my brother. I can see so much potential in Q. And that's why I push him and that's why I ride him. I was looking for something out of Jay and I got exactly what I was looking for. It was integrity. So with that, my votes for Q. A real man.
Love you, brother. Love you too, man. The journey does not stop here. I may not be the biggest loser, but I will be the biggest winner. Because I learned so much, man. I learned so much. Q, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. And it is time for you to go. I don't feel like I let my wife down at all by going home a week after she did. Because I said to her, I'm going to work hard. And I did that. I left it all on that gym floor. Six weeks ago, I embraced that I'm fat and that's just who I'm gonna be. And now I don't wanna be fat anymore. I'm not going to be fat anymore. I'm a new person. You know, I'm a whole new man. America, the next time that you see me you'll see an entirely new cue. So watch out for me. When I started on The Biggest Loser, I weighed 437 pounds. Today, I weigh 345 pounds. I've lost a total of 92 pounds. I'm about to crush 100 pounds and it feels good. Before Lammy left the ranch, I made a promise to her that I would not take this opportunity for granted. I'm telling you here right now, I won't come home the same person, mentally, and more than anything, physically. But I ended up going home a week later, and a lot of people may think that I did squander this opportunity and didn't take advantage of it, but they're totally wrong. And I have a bit of a surprise for my wife. You know, this is Valentine's week. Don't let me fall. I ain't gonna let you fall, I got you. (laughs) Valentine's days in the past for us have been planned around food, but this year is a little bit different. She probably thinks that we're gonna go eat. Open your eyes. Surprise! (laughs) I brought you here because I want to commit to you, my wife, that we will continue to change our lives and continue this journey together. And this is where it's gonna start. When I made that commitment to Laramie, I didn't just mean while I'm on The Biggest Loser, but I mean that I'm gonna make that commitment for the rest of our lives. And and this is a perfect opportunity to show her.